Sergeant Jimmy Chavez, President of the Arizona Highway Patrol Association, joining us this morning. Sergeant, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for being here. This must be a very busy time of year for you. Uh, every time of the year is busy for us. <laughs> but, uh, aren't there more problems that occur when we have this kind of excessive heat? Uh, there tend to be a little more problems, particularly with vehicles and, uh, you know, issues that relate to, uh, to, uh, vehicles as people are traveling, uh, out and into the state. I think a lot of us here in Arizona have just become jaded when we hear about excessive heat warnings, which is what we're in right now. But still you hear the tragic stories of small children and pets being left in closed cars because the people say, well, I was just going in the store for a minute. How long does it take for a car to heat up to some unbearable degree? Well, a vehicle, the interior of a vehicle uh, will heat up uh, far above the outside temperature in just a matter of minutes. And everything in there is hot, too, because it, you know, if you get your car after you've parked it for a while and you touch something metal or plastic even, you go, out because it's very hot. Well, what happens to cars to cause them to break down during this kind of weather? Well, the uh, the Arizona climate itself tends to be a little more harsh on, um, on certain parts of the vehicles, uh, particularly rubber products. You've got uh, rubber tires, rubber belts, rubber hoses. And uh, those tend to wear out uh, a little bit quicker than uh, than maybe in other parts of the country. And um, you know, typically, tire failure is probably one of the biggest issues that uh, people have to deal with, uh, or certainly people have to uh, be cautious against. Um, because again, as you're going down the road, that uh, that air inside that tire is going to heat up, and uh, the excessive heat will break down uh, tires even more. Sergeant Chavez, this is Julie. It's an, I always think it's a bad idea to change a tire on the side of the freeway or in the, you know, in the island area somewhere. Is it not better to get off the next exit, even if it damages your, your wheel a little bit, as opposed to changing a tire on the side of the freeway with pe- people going 80 miles an hour past you? Well, it's, it's best, the, the best piece of advice is to make sure that you're in, in the safest location you can possibly be to change a tire. Uh, obviously, in, in metropolitan Phoenix, um, uh, people Parking with tire failure sometimes have have no uh, no option but to go towards the left uh, median and, and wait there. And a lot of times, our officers will conduct a traffic break uh, to get them off to the right, right and get them off on into the wider shoulder and, you know, or to the off ramp to where they have more room and, and certainly are are away from traffic. Uh, Sergeant Chavez, I've lived in extremely cold climates, and uh, one might think that uh, batteries break down more frequently there, but this heat can also cause your battery to die prematurely, can it not? Oh, absolutely. It's uh, not uncommon for, uh, you know, residents here in Arizona to replace their vehicle battery every uh, every three to four years, uh, which is uh, obviously a shorter lifespan than, uh, than what most batteries uh, often promote. And we all hear the advice to stay hydrated, and I assume you would agree with that. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's certainly uh, paramount to make sure that you're not only uh, hydrating throughout the day, but, but when you're taking a car ride, make sure you have water with you. Uh, make sure you got plenty of water, extra water for you and your occupants so that if, if uh, something unfortunate happens, such as the, the car breaks down or becomes inoperable, you, you've at least got, uh, got water with you to... Uh, uh, to wait out until uh, help arrives. All right, so check the battery, the tires, the wipers, all those things that the heat can break down. And uh, the website for the Arizona Highway Patrol Association is ahpa.com. And Sergeant Jimmy Chavez joining us this morning. Thank you very much for being on the show. Well, thank you, and once again, uh, thanks for having me on. Hey, and thanks to all you guys for what you do, especially in the summertime for all of us idiots out there on the road. We really do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Can you imagine doing that job, Ken? I know one family that has three DPS officers in it. Jeez, out in the heat, by yourself, way out in the boonies sometimes, um, pulling over crazy people, but mostly helping folks out and, and pulling you out of car wrecks and things like that.